They all gonna harvest them. Millions of them are dead and buried in Libya. Under the sands of Libya, they're dead, their organs stolen, and they're buried in Libya. You don't want to know what they do to black people in Libya, how they have the men raping their sisters and raping the women and raping the elderly women, and how they keep them in underground prisons in Libya. You don't want to know that in Israel, Israel just put a bounty on black people's heads, $9,000 to find every black person in Israel. On the black market, do you know how much a black body is worth? $20 million dead. Why? And these are the gods you worship. These gods are the enemy of black people. And I pray for the day black people truly study those books and realize what they're worshiping. Those gods are our enemies. They have never been for us. These gods can never be our friend after they enslaved our ancestors and sold them into slavery, raped them, castrated them, gutted them, and sold their organs. And this is what you worship and you claim we're going through this because we sinned against Yahweh. How many of you are living right and this shit is still going on? How many of you are living right according to Yahweh's laws and this shit? It's still going on. You mean to tell me all the people whose organs were stolen from them by these people that worship these gods were living in sin? How many children they kidnapped out of Haiti? When the earthquake struck, it was the Christian charities that were kidnapping children out of Haiti and they can't find the children. And even the ex-president of Haiti went on news and said as soon as the earthquake struck, the Christian charities moved in and they said we can't even account for how many Haitian children disappeared. Black people, we are worshipping our enemies. And our enemies are killing us. They are using us for blood sacrifice. 